hi everyone and uh, welcome to my channel avme in today's video i'm going to show you how to change the front glass screen of your imac if it's cracked or it's uh, broken uh, recently i was doing a, a project outside and i took my imac uh, uh, basically in a flight case uh, but uh, somehow the front glass got uh, damaged uh, during transit uh, so I have ordered a replacement uh, glass screen and uh, this particular model is mid-2011 uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how to replace the front glass panel. It's not the replacement video for the LCD screen. Uh, so I've ordered this off uh, eBay for around £40 and uh, let's start the video. I'm gonna zoom onto the screen and I'm gonna show you like where exactly it's cracked. Now the tools you're gonna need, I would recommend you to get uh, gloves like uh, so you, you know you don't hurt your fingers or stuff. And second uh, tool you would require is the suction cups uh, so you can pull the glass out. Now I have also ordered the suction uh, uh, cups but uh, they are not delivered yet uh, so I'm just gonna carry on without them uh, because uh, once I'll zoom in you'll see that this is badly damaged uh, so I really don't need the suction cups and the bug inside me is like uh, forcing me to just change it right now so uh, basically I'm gonna show you how to remove the screen without the suction cups but make sure you wear the gloves in order to do that, uh, to be on the safe side. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm just gonna zoom onto the screen just to show you the cracks and stuff. I put some PVC tape to prevent it from more damage. So I'm just gonna remove it. So I could show you. Okay. And there you go. The main reason I was asking you guys to wear the gloves because look, this piece has just come off with the PVC tape. And uh, if you're not careful, you can easily cut your fingers. All right, without any further ado, let's just zoom onto the screen and I'll show you the damage done to the screen. If you can have a look at this corner, Look, it's badly damaged and then the crack follows all the way up to right about here and then down here. So let's start and let's replace this. And I'll show you how to do it without the suction cups. All right, guys. So uh, first step is uh, just get some packaging and uh, then just lay down your iMac on that packaging so you don't uh, uh, damage the back side of the Mac in any way. Uh, also in second part of this video, uh, I'm gonna show you that this Mac is capable of handling uh, 8 GB of RAM in one slot. Uh, now it has got four slots, so total it can go up to is 32 GB and this is the mid 2000 11 model now officially on Apple website it states that it can go up to 16 GB like 4 GB in each slot uh, but uh, uh, reading uh, on uh, Mac forums and stuff uh, I found out that this Mac is capable of uh, uh, handling 8 GB of RAM in one slot and total of 32 GB so I'm just gonna make a second video uh, part 2 of this uh, uh installing this ram as well so stay tuned uh, for that as well whether this would work uh 8 gb of one ram in one slot uh, with imac 2011 mid 2011 all right so let's start as you can see like uh it's badly cracked and i haven't got the suction cups uh so i'm gonna try to remove the screen uh without the suction cups and uh, let's try on obviously uh uh, this is attached to the frame via magnets uh, so all I have to do is just pull this upwards and then just slide it uh, so let's do it 
now it's cracked from this end as well so just be careful if you're doing it bare hands otherwise as i said uh, you're more than welcome to use your gloves uh, but i need an edge to get into the panel so i'm just gonna use my nails and stuff all right so let's start just make sure the edges are not rough and uh, if they are or if you're not feeling comfortable then do it with suction cups okay so let's start i'm gonna start now just try to pull this just be very gentle as you can see look i just pulled it and all you have to do is just slide it now and just be really careful now as you can see this is the broken glass and uh, have a look this is like broken one and just be very gentle now just place this uh, on the packaging the new panel has come uh, with and uh, as you can see like there are a few marks and stuff like actually uh, the glass one of the glass pieces it dropped on the screen uh, because it was uh, badly shattered so what I'm gonna do is very gently uh, with either a tissue or something I'm gonna try to pick this up okay so just bear with me actually I'm gonna try to do it with bare finger because I don't want to damage the screen and there you go I just picked it up and this is another one so just all right now get a microfiber cloth something like this because this is your only chance to clean the inner LED or LCD screen and just clean it get all get rid of all the dust and obviously check it sideways I can still see some dust obviously some dust would remain because this is not a dust proof room some dust will remain inside which is not going to be visible to your eyes but try your best to clean as much as you can and make sure the fiber cloth doesn't get caught up uh, with the hinges and stuff guys i think it's pretty much clean now now this is the new panel as you can see uh, I'll put the uh, description of this panel in the uh, video description below so you can check it on Amazon or eBay but make sure that you contact the seller before you order it for your iMac uh, okay now this panel obviously it has two plastic sheets uh, on both sides so you need to remove it so what I'll do is holding it like this I'll just remove the front actually I'll remove the back first and the front I'll remove it after fixing it so all I have to do at this stage is just removing the back plastic sheet so just need edge of it there you go and just be careful be steady do not put anything on the max screen okay give this a wipe as well because this is your only chance now to give it a clean have a side look that if you can see any dust if not then then just go ahead and place the screen okay i'm just gonna wipe this one more time
now guys if you are doing this uh, at home uh, then make sure there are no other equipment in the surrounding as you can see my speakers are here I can easily damage them as well uh, you know if I'm not careful so so you need space uh, a lot of space in order to do this so make sure you remove everything or you are extra careful with your equipment and the way you are operating this okay now without touching this side of the screen let me just wipe it again just hold it like this without touching the screen put the panel like this and fit it in and that's it guys it it's all magnetic and it just adjusts itself on its own and now what you do is just remove this front plastic cover and again just wipe this okay all right guys so let me just switch on the mac now just to see it's working okay so it's just loading into the operating system and everything looks perfect now on my computer screen on my mac screen uh, just a quick thing i want to show you what ram is installed uh, at the moment i got 6 gb of ram installed and uh, it's like 2 to 2 gb in each slot so in one of the slots i'm going to install 8 gb so let's just confirm the specification first can you see like it has 2 gb 2 gb and 2 gb so what i'm going to do now is in the empty slot i'm going to install uh, this 8 gb ram uh, but i'll put it as part two all right guys uh, hope you have liked this uh, video about how to replace the front glass panel of uh, imac if you have then please click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye